Hello you beautiful audience. This is Reddit Stories. And today's topic is. 9 Confession Stories. Part 40. 1. So it was year 6 I went over to my good friend's house, we were chilling in the pool when we heard the doorbell ring and my friend said oh it's, won't say the name. He opened the door and saw this kid who was our age but little bit younger, he looked normal. Fast forward 5 minutes later he jumped on my head and tried to punch my friend and his sister and her friends. After a few not so good interactions with this kid later it was Halloween, and he was there. Me and a couple other friends were there we were having fun till the kid, who has special needs, decided to run off down the street. My friend who also had special need, mild autism and ADHD, was laughing his head off about him and me and my friend thought it was funny at the time. But my friend that invited the kid over got real mad and confessed to us that his mom forced him to play with the kid, and that he hated having him around and that he has spent more time with this kid than his real friends and that he only hanged out with him because his mom wanted to do some physic thing with the kid's friend's crazy mom. Fast forward to the next year it was one of my friend's birthday, and guess what's there the kid, and it was one of the worst experiences s I've had with a kid my age. What he did was invade one and my friend's personal space, we weren't so mad with that but then he tried to fight one of us. After that he all moved away from him and made fun of him in a corner of the room as he was looking and trying to say sorry. After that we went to sleep and I woke up to him saying to one of my fiends that he was cute while he slept, and gl that was pretty funny. After that I never saw him again but I heard about him from my friend that first invited him to his house all those years before. Apparently his mom couldn't handle him, I found out his mom tried to kill him while he slept. After that I felt sorry about all the crap I said and now I wonder what happened to him. 2. This was in 4th grade, in 11th grade now, and there was this kid I really didn't like. So, me being an inconsiderate ass, decided to hack his email, not really hacking there was this way you could find out people's passwords, and send an email along the lines of I fucking hate you Mrs. Smith. Fuck you. The teacher called his parents and his parents yelled at him and then he got expelled. I haven't told anyone this and I have to live with this guilt for the rest of my life. I just thought getting it off my chest would clear my conscience. 3. To clarify, my mom is a very self-aware alcoholic who has been fighting that sickness for decades. She, a single mother, taught my sister and me that we should never drink, since our genetics make us extremely susceptible to becoming addicts. I'm 23F and have been hiding my alcohol use from her for years, but I know she's had her suspicions. She's nice and usually very understanding I am just dreading dropping this huge bombshell on her. I was really successful academically in college and have been doing all sorts of goody two-shoes stuff for years, and getting arrested is just not something that often happens to people like me. Also, there's a really disgusting Facebook page in my county that posts the mugshot, name, and charge of everyone who gets arrested. I have to tell her before that page posts my picture in a few days, so she can learn it from me first. I'm also really worried about how everyone else I know will react to that post as well. 4. When I was 10 I acted out by stealing my friend's possessions and my one-time therapist told my mother it was normal given the circumstances. Their coveted pencil case of new markers. A doll from their father. And I stopped but starting from age 15 I just have this undeniable urge to. Have. I want so much. I want to have everything I want. Craft supplies that I actually use. Make up for my new hobby and now K-pop albums etc. I want to be surrounded by beautiful and plentiful things. I just want stuff and more stuff and more stuff and I can't control it because things make me happy. I mean I can kinda control it but eventually I'll just want it more than the stress of getting caught or stress of how much it costs. I'm not a culpomaniac I actually use the things I take and I guess it's not really a destructive cycle bc most of the time I can go months if not years in between.
but between the pandemic and stress I been wanting more of the comforting stuff. So today I took a K-pop album. And I got caught. I gave it back and actually bought something and endured a short lecture from the manager but not I'm super anxious. I been googling what could happen and I just have this pit in my stomach that makes me want to go POO. I don't think they will press charges BC it was $20 they got it back and it was my first time at that store so they won't have any other footage of me. But OMG. OMG. What if my mother finds out? I am already the loser daughter she will be so died appointed I can't I can't. I already have a history of strailing. I'm trying to replay the convo in my head to gauge what the manager will do but I had so much adrenaline I can't remember much. I probably won't steal anything again BC my new knowledge showed me exactly how dumb and lucky I been but OMG I don't know how to stop the insatiable monster in me that wants pretty things but doesn't slash can't pay for it. 5. It was the last day of kindergarten, me and a couple friends were building castles and other random shit with these big building blocks that were basically cut and sanded 2 by 4s. Well we built this one huge monstrosity of a castle and I thought it would be funny to completely destroy it with one of the 2 by 4s. I picked one up and slammed it down as hard as I could, I immediately bursted out laughing till I heard screaming from straight in front of me. As I looked up my jaw dropped at the horror I saw in front of me, I didn't hit the castle at all but instead I had my friend on the forehead, blood was gushing everywhere covering his face, cloths, blocks, and my hand. They rushed him to the hospital and I sat there the rest of the day in shock staring at my hand. I still think about it to this day 12 years later. 6. In the 6th grade, I was dating a boy. We broke up and I was so angry at him. We were on the playground one day, when I picked up a rock. The rock wasn't too big, but it wasn't a pebble either. It was pretty heavy. I looked in his direction and got so angry, I threw the rock. I turned around like nothing happened. Seconds later I hear screaming. I turn around to see the rock hit him right in the forehead, giving him a huge Harry Potter-like scar. He was my first boyfriend and I always think about this. 7. I was in 2 to 4 grade I think, me and my friend Ari were sitting together. I believe we were working on a project when she had to use the bathroom. After she left I seen a white and green pen and I loved the color it had so I took it, she came back and started panicking and asking me have you seen my pen where is my pen I told her I didn't see it, knowing it was in my left pocket. She then starts crying because that pen was a gift from her older sister. I felt so bad but still wanted that pen so I didn't say nothing. I still have that pen tucked away somewhere in my attic. I don't even know why I regret this but I still feel bad that she started crying. 8. I'm not asking for forgiveness, he asked for it. I was chatting with a friend about a month ago and he told all about a new car he got and how great it is. I inquired as to what vehicle he got and he dropped the bomb that he had willingly gone out and purchased with his own hard-earned money, a Hyundai Santa Fe. I asked him if he was feeling okay, and he insisted he was. He went on about how great it was and how Hyundai makes some really good vehicles. I incessantly disagreed with him but then came the straw that broke the camel's back. He said his Hyundai was a better vehicle than my 2014 R6 just because it is older, and went on to argue that Kia Hyundai is better than the entire Volkswagen group. I flew into a frenzy of rage and grabbed a brick from the ground, we were near a construction site, and hit him over the head with it. Doesn't he know that Volkswagen is the third most valuable car company? The only thing Kia is known for is their seat belts breaking during crashes and their inflated MPG. Volkswagen has the power of Bugatti, Lamborghini, Audi, Volkswagen, Skoda, Ducati, and Porsche. I fucking hate Kia. 9. This happened during my 4th grade elementary school where yo-yos are trending at that time, I found my classmate's yo-yo lying down in the floor under the chair he is sitting at, I secretly grabbed the yo-yo without anyone noticing and I put it in the bag. At the end of the class, 
he made the teacher call every student that sits near him and asked where his yo-yo is and everyone says something like I don't know. Everyone left including me and he is the only one left to apologize to teacher for bringing toys in class. I am now an 8th grade high school student and I still remember it even into this day and about the yo-yo I stole from him, I gave it to my nephew and he is keeping it safe. This marks the end of the video. If you like my content, consider subscribing as it helps me a lot. See you until next time.